Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome back to April Mario Thousand Year Door. We have defeated the dreaded Hooktails, who was totally a woman this whole time. Like, this game really makes me question my entire existence. I don't have the greatest memory to begin with. There's a goldfish that swims around in my brain and tries to remember things that doesn't do a great job. <laughs> and I admit, the last time I played this game was many years ago, but during that span, I played this game about 8,000 times. I'll say it a million times, this is the game of my childhood. And, and, and so I, I know all of this stuff, but because there's these little tiny subtle differences, I'm like, was that the ridicule? Is that like that? I swear. <laughs> and it's really making me question my entire existence. I love it. I, I love these kinds of differences. This is absolutely fabulous. So, we beat the first level, and now we have a bunch of stuff that's open to us here in Rogue Road. So, I think we're going to do that today, starting with the shop owner. <laughs> hey, value customer! Your contact lens is in. Please drop by our shop. So, when you see this guy outside, that means the contact lens is, uh, is in the shop, whether you read your email or not. An aid for, for poor vision. Does Mario really need this? <laughs> we need 10 coins for that contact lens. Wanna buy it, fella? Why, yes, yes I do. Sorry to unlock. Oh, okay. Uh, Missy Spooks is not crazy. Do you see in the middle of the screen the cat potato thing on the boxes behind the stuff? There's two of them. Before, my face was kind of blocking the way, but now they're right in the middle of the screen. What is... I'm really trying to pay attention to what's in the background because in the original game, the graphics were too bad. It was all just kind of blurry and everything, as it had to be. But now you have that high definition and you're just like... Like the... The, um... The sequence in Dr. Frankly... Professor Frankly's room makes me really suspicious and I'm going to try that out in when we get to the next level of Kitty Tree. Oh, hey! Hey, 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 oh! I got all the latest new products here. Look no further. He sells really good stuff, usually for pretty darn expensive. Oh. Oh. Stylish moves are so hard to pull off because the timing is so ridiculous, it's not even funny. I think I explained this last time. I don't know the exact frame rate, but it is by frame rates. And I believe it's like a third of what the regular action command is. Increase Mario's assist. This is like Mega Rush. People do all these crazy strategies, but I cannot stand the constant beeping noise. This is important for something. Slow ghost slows down the party's movement speed on the field. I know in the original Paper Mario, it, if you kind of really wanted to. But what? No more shopping? Sorry to hear that, man. This is a limited time offer. He changes his stock continuously. I change goods I offer from time to time, so come back real soon. Actually, I think I'll take that shooting star. Those are really... I usually don't buy uh, item stuff. I just want to go sell things in the store. Shooting stars... That's one of those items that come into collection. I like damage dealing. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'm the same way with Pokemon. There's all these strategies over, you know, inflicting status effects. And, like, here's the dizzy dial. Make all enemies dizzy. <laughs> if you defeat them fast, then you don't need status effects. <laughs> you know, power punch. I mean, that's really... Great, I guess. I will probably never ever use that. I use healing items. I use mushrooms and syrups. That's that's pretty much all you really need. I mean, there's a ton you can do, and it's really really great. But I'm of the uh, hit them hard, hit them fast, and then they're done. And it's not a problem anymore. <laughs> Which is why I'm going for the shooting star. Shooting star is like the um, fire flower on steroid. Uh, all enemies does six damage. Thirty-six coins. That's not bad. Thank you. 
She's a big 
theater goer, and apparently she's also a raving fan of flurries. Hmm. Huh. Good, uh, good enough. The mysterious name you've given me. That Koopa lives here. He must have been born lucky, because he always succeeds. He has all the money he'll ever need, but I think he's still, uh, still unfulfilled somehow. Hmm. Then again, that doesn't surprise me since he spends all day in bed. It just goes to show you can't buy happiness and you should occasionally leave bed. <laughs> Ain't that yeah. the truth? Ain't that the truth? It's one of those funny things, too. You find that the people who have the most money are usually the most unhappy. I think this kid lives here. He's afraid to go outside, so he spends all day in here. He's got some family issues, I think, but it's not our place to stick our noses in. Kids, is a, kids his age have so much to worry about, but don't we all? <laughs> right? Gosh, there's some truth bombs being d uh, dropped down here. That guy's a novelist and the owner of this house. He has great ideas, but can't write unless he's concentrating. Oh, God, it hurts so bad. Stop hitting me, like, right in the field. Like, not the feels, but the facts. Hitting me in the facts. <laughs> I think he just psychs himself out. I mean, he's got the talents and all. Oh, gosh. Stop. Game, stop calling me out. I don't write very much. That's... Uh, who's got the time for it? What is it? I work three jobs. I make videos. Writing takes a very long time. I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to all too well, and I don't want to go there. That's a neighborhood kid. He seems to like going out and exploring new places. He has some big, big feelings about his family. I think that shows how much he cares for them. <laughs> the boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, and I toss you like that. That's Rocco with the pinatas. Piantas, not piñatas. Piantas and piñatas are totally different things. I love piñatas. <laughs> He's the muscle that keeps the parlor moving smoothly. He's new to Pianta, the Piata Syndicate. And still a long way from the top, as far as I can tell. I have my front door open and my outdoor cat is up there being adorable. I put out breakfast every morning for my outdoor cat to eat. <laughs> oh, another day, another stupid losing lottery ticket. But I'm sure I'll win tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. I, I'll be here until tomorrow. This guy really likes, no, he totally loves the happy lotter, lucky lottery. He wakes up each day with one thing on his mind, that day's winning number. <laughs> dum da da dum da do. Every day is a lucky day with happy lottery lucky. Happy lucky lottery. This is spooks. With new numbers every day, this lottery is fun and exploding with excitement. I'd love to tell you more. Sure. Happy lucky lottery is so special. You pick the numbers, they might win each day. Just buy your lottery ticket here, one at a time, buy another if you change your mind. Then check back later on this board to see if your number has come in. If your number matches the day's draw, you get a super happy lucky prize. The day's number is drawn each night at midnight. If you play and check the board every day, your number is sure to come in eventually. And when I say midnight, I mean according to your clock at home. Do you need me to describe how the lottery works again? Nope, I get it. I got it before. <laughs> then let's get to the ticket buying. I've got a great deal for first timers. It only costs a mere 10 points. Wanna buy a lottery ticket? Sure. Oh. oh, happy, thank you. Here's your lottery ticket. Here's your lottery ticket. Your number is 1055. You can use the same number until you win the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and 
Let me check the board right now to see if you've won. I have never won this. The Happy Lucky Lottery Board. Bob Om Lottery Rules. Jackpot. All numbers match. Second prize, last three numbers. Third prize, last two numbers. Fourth prize, last number match. Today's winning number. 1933. Not a. Well, I got the first number, but that doesn't count. Sorry, it's an unlucky day. Your ticket isn't a winner today. But every day brings a new chance, so try again, okay? Here's a consolation prize. Thanks. Come again tomorrow. And they actually mean tomorrow in the real world. I've never bothered with the lottery. I don't actually even know what the prizes are for the lottery because it was just so much work. And, and it's just, it's, it's, not, I, I, I don't know. So basically the cheat code of it is just change the time of your console. I don't actually, can you do that with the switch or is it automatic? Back in ye olden days, you could manually change the time of your console. I honestly God, don't know, I, I don't bother with that. There is a few ye olden games for that matter. Uh, hmm, that's a sus crack in the wall. Um, but, and that's, and that's what you would do. You would get a lottery ticket, you would find out. I don't know if you got to choose your numbers in the old one. Maybe you could. I don't, I, I never did the lottery. I didn't, I didn't bother with it. <laughs> so, I don't, like I said, I have no idea what you get when you win. Uh, but you would get your lottery ticket, whether you chose your numbers or not, and then you would just change the time on your console's clock until you won. Which was way too <laughs> Uh, this, on the west side, is one of the places where you can buy a life mushroom. I like getting life shrooms. I like having them. Oh, I love a regular mushroom. The only thing about this game that does drive me a little bit... Talk, you have to talk to you sell things. I'm here to sell... Actually, I can st uh, Store and stuff. Um, I've never heard of this. Uh, I don't that many either. You find so many items just playing the game. Honestly, you really don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. You know? I mean, here's a, a super shroom, and that's really nice. But again, just, just, just play the game. Life shrooms, actually, finding life shrooms is really difficult to do. So, I'll buy one to have one. Uh, the only bummer is if your partner dies. See, he restores 10 HP when Mario or his partner falls. So, usually, not usually, I have way more. Like, right now, I only have 15 HP, and my partners have 10 HP. It's gonna change in about five seconds because I'm going to upgrade them next after I finish exploring. We do the part that lasts. But, uh, so if your partner who has way less HP goes unconscious, it uses your life shroom. And you're like, I, I wish I got the choice to, to use it or not. It just automatically happens. Uh, both of these, that big blimp in the back and this train right here, my two favorite levels of this game. This flight goes to Glitzville. You'll need a ticket to travel with us. That's Stuart, the blimp con conductor. His job is to check with passengers' tickets. I hear he loved the sea even as a child and wanted to become a sailor. But now he's sailing the skies instead. I guess his dream sort of came true, huh? He's like an air sailor or something. specialty store and got one of my favorite teas a bunch of strawberry green tea and I love tea. I love tea. I love tea so much. Maybe when I become a big gigantic huge uh, YouTube streamer and make my own stuff I'll, I'll make my own tea like Jack Sept the guy makes coffee. <laughs> ah you gotta love train platforms man this place has seen as many dramatic encounters as there are stars in space. Wow, the thought of it all 
Oh, I just love it. This girl's always here. She's fixated on romantic scenes and train stations. I see where she comes from. Train station platforms do have that romantic air. Forget the station. I want to go on a train. One of my bucket list items, actually, is to go on a train like this with the super fancy cars and you spend a couple of days going around these scenic things where I would just sit down and write. <laughs> that sounds so cool. <laughs> this is the Exe Excess Express, bound for the luxurious Hoshley Heights. Passengers must present a ticket to board. That's Porter, the station manager here at Brookport. He checks train tickets. I hear he loves trains so much he has like a billion model trains at home. Maybe he's just using his adulthood to buy all the things he wanted as a kid. And that's the point of adulthood right there. <laughs> Wait a minute, I can now afford or not afford the things that I wanted as a kid? Why do you think I have so many video games? <laughs> I tell you, I, I like just standing here gazing at the train more than I would like riding it. Because if I were to ride it, I wouldn't get to see how cool its main engine looks. Yeah, I'm looking at it's better, but if I could just afford a ticket, I might ride it once. That's Lackey, a train-loving Lackey-Tune. All this guy does is sit here and watch trains. I'm sure he'd love to ride the Excess Express, but he can't afford a ticket. It'd be cool if he saved up enough to ride it just once in his life, you know? I, people get really obsessed about trains, don't they? I have a few family members like that who just go and watch trains for fun, steam trains. I know here in Michigan there's a, a museum, the Henry Ford Museum, and they have a steam-powered train, I believe. Super stupidly old and all that kind of fun stuff, but... Oh look! Gambling! I love checking my scores on this machine after I play games. I'm here all day! What? My husband is worried about me! Oh, don't be silly. He doesn't mind. As long as he's writing, he doesn't notice what any That's a parlor customer. I think she leaves her hobby home with the kids so she can play here all day long. Yeah, that's healthy. That's so messed up. That's why I love this game. You know, you're just like, oh, and as a kid, you really don't get it. And then as an adult, I play this and go, oh. oh. Hey, how you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that now? You want one of those member cards that increases the mini games you can play, do ya? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. That's a Goomba who really likes his parlor. He always seems to be in a good mood. I wouldn't mind winning like he does every now and then. Lucky stiff. That's a little hint for ya. You gotta help people out. We haven't gotten to that side of town yet. This place is run by the head of the people. This place is run by the head of the Pianta Syndicate. You can play fun games in here and win if you beat Pianta tokens to redeem the prizes. Yeah, play to win and get those prizes. That's a parlor customer. She's a little mouser. It, it looks like. Good to see a girl in here. It's a good sign that this place is safe enough for regular folks to go. I am the Pianta Changer changing machine. I am called Pianta Changer. I exchange one Pianta for three corns. How many will you exchange? Uh, let's get ten. <laughs> BB dot BB. Exchange complete. One exchange more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come again. Let's talk to this lady. Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario. Like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need relaxation. So what can I show you? Let's see what do they have. You can trade in the piantas you've won for prizes. I'm gonna struggle with that word this whole time. <laughs> and some of our prizes can't be found anywhere else. Ah, cake mix. You take that to Zesty. And she'll make a cake for you. Super mushroom, super peel. So that gets you. We, we haven't really used our star power a whole lot. I should probably do that more. I can just show you guys what they do. Refund. Refund. 
put something quiet. Uh, that's not my yet. Uh, I mean, the cake mix, maybe. Anything else I can do for you? No. Oh, really? Okay, definitely come talk to me if there's ever, if you ever need anything. We don't have any of the cards right now. The only thing I think we can do, oh my gosh, totally didn't even notice this, but look at this beautiful, colorless Game Boy sitting in the corner. Oh, it makes a noise. Oh, 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 right. I had one. I think I still have mine. I'm not sure. I owned every single handheld Game Boy system they ever made up until the until just recently, honestly. Like different 3DSs and all that. I never I never really bothered, but I still got it. This makes me want to go through my stuff and, and see if it's still there, but it's beautiful, isn't it? This is the scoreboard. Members cards required for use. Well, okay then. Alright, so the only thing we can actually do is play this. Is play slot machines. Spicy matching game. Get piñata. I want to say piñatas every time. Piantas. 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 If you do well, hard, but you can win lots of piantas. Alright, plus 6, plus 12, plus 20, plus 30, start plus 30. Okay. Alright. Lord have mercy. Okay. Alright. Give me a second. I don't know what. Oh, top stops first. Okay. What do I want? Uh, star gives the most, so let's go for the star, right? It's the star before. Flower? Okay. So. I've seen videos of people who are really good at this. Duh. Okay, no, nope, that all right, so, is it cheap? No. That hurts my brain, okay. I swear it changes and that's messing with me. Nice. So what I've heard is the strategy and what I just did to, no thank you, I like my eyeballs. Uh, is you look for the symbol before the one you're looking for. So, like, for, for example, the cow block, the, the, like, the flower was before it, or at least a piece of it, uh, the flower. And so when you see the symbol that comes before the one that you're looking for, that's when you press A. It's the same. Sweet magic game. Win piantas if you do well. Lots of fun for only a few coins. Ah, uh, so this is a much easier one. Yeah, plus two, plus four, six. Uh, I want a mushroom. Okay, so there's two different ones. That's what's missing. Alright, where are you at, mushroom? That oh, looks weird, too. There we go. Nice. Not bad. So, you can spend all day with these thingy bobbers, but what we really need is... We'll do... And I'll do that later. Let's go back to the other side of the town. This is Rogue for Exploration. Exploration. Exploration episode. Because we've done the vast majority of stuff here. We haven't done all the stuff here. Including Luigi's stories. <laughs> Alright, I do want to show you how it is. Alright, in the original version, you can, I don't want to say really tell that there's a secret wall here, but, I mean, I guess because I know what I'm looking for, I can see the line, but this is actually a false wall. Okay, the closer you get to it, I guess you can see it, especially on the bottom. Do you see how this wall looks like a little funky? Yeah. another card trick today and make it tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here. We're on bop. That's Larson the Bandit. He was out on his scam, so he's laying low here. Of course he wouldn't have to lay low anywhere if he just kept his nose clean. You think maybe he gets a thrill from breaking the law or what? This guy is very important. <laughs> hey! My name's Darling. I like dim places, and I'm done talking for now. That's Darkling. He loves the dark. He just stays 
just here in the shadows all day long. <laughs> Sounds kind of creepy to me, but hey, whatever powers you up, know what I mean? He is extremely important <laughs> later on. But yeah, sneaky, sneaky. You can teleport. Like, that's that's beautiful. If I didn't know what to look for, I would. I mean, again, you can kind of tell at the bottom there that it doesn't match up. But, like, honestly. Alright, I'll get the PG after this. Because I would like to upgrade my do. Oh my gosh, look at even the reflection in the crystal. says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here. Three shines brights. He raises a partner of one rank. <laughs> Welcome to the home of Berlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? All right, well, I only got three. Multi-bonk to attack Poe multiple times. Sh shell shield to protect Mario. I don't really like that very much, but that's <laughs> So, you'll pay me three shine sprites to power up Koops, because his attack goes up and his health goes up. And right now, Koops is clutch. <laughs> Shep! Zippy! Shazubi! Care to power up more? I don't have enough. See, now he's got 15 health, which is great. Return someday. Alright, alright, let's go. Let's go. Hey, big brother! That's not even that's fine. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here! What a co inky dink! <laughs> eh? What am I up to? <laughs> well, bro, I'm on an adventure! I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom! <laughs> yeah, it's a bad scene, alright! She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King! <laughs> if you gotta know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day! It was pretty intense, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. I absolutely do. Waffle Kingdom letter. I want this game. I, I want it so bad. Nintendo, please, for the love of God, make this a video game. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here, uh, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro, got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sir, my name is Crick. I am a cabinet minister from the far-off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King who took our Princess Claire. I ask today, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crick. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like with Mario, that's you, bro, gone, it fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to escape. Oh no! First, I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Great, who filled me in. The Chestnut King and Kingdom, Princess Claire, and Edward. Apparently, though, some oracle said a marvelous compass could locate her. This marvelous compass had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it? Each part of the marvelous compass was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I sur surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her smart. The minister gave me the compass base spoken of in the waffle waffler fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating the deep south. Georgia? It was pointing me towards Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am, sailing out of Rogue Port for Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably gonna be pretty dangerous, but I've gotta rescue that princess. Oh. Wanna hear about something else? That's all you got right now, Luigi. 
want to hear what I've been up to, just come and find me, okay? I'll be around. I can't do an Italian accent to save my life, so that's about as good as I get. <laughs> but I love his story, and every single chapter you get more of it, and you also get to meet his companions! It was a perfect setup! It didn't go anywhere. Make this sad. This so good. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. <laughs> past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robo. It's ten coins to pass through. <laughs> you try to pass without paying, I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I don't think so. I can take it. <laughs> what? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way out, way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Great guys. <laughs> Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? I love this game. I love it so much. Ishnail and the Rope Bow Band of Thieves. I don't know what brings you here, but if you think you're gonna meet the boss, ha! That's Swindell Bandit. At least I hear he's a thief, but I've never seen him steal. He's always whispering to Arthur about something. I think this is Arthur? <laughs> the east side is some of the worst crime anywhere here in Roqueport. Man, everyone who lives here is real tough and street smart, too. I mean, when you don't have any money, you gotta be tough just to get by. That's Arthur. He's always hanging around here. He looks totally suspicious, but apparently he lives by some super stern moral code. Oh, 
kick in here. That's super sus. Huh. Oh, there's little footprints on the ground. I wonder if that was in the original. I don't know. Alright, let's go. Oh. So you can see it by here. It's a weird sound. Time, doesn't he? Where it is, he's been busting his tail lately to catch the eye of the crime boss, Ishinia. Eh, here's a nice little secret area, but we can't get here yet. We need the boat for this one, and we need another companion to get across to get that shark right over there. But at least we know it's here. Try to remember how to get up there, and I think I know, and I think I can't do it. We don't have much here, but make yourself at home if you want. That's Garth, part of the Robo Gang. I'm pretty sure he's related to Gus. He looks pretty gnarly, but he's actually pretty cool. Don't, don't judge folks on looks. Why do you get off talking to me like nothing happened? Like there was no beating. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all like, wah. I already did that. <laughs> what do you want, chump? You ain't got business here to beat. That's Ishnia, leader of the thief band called the Robos. He really hates Don Pianta. I guess that's to be expected since they're bitter rivals and everything. He's got some issues about money, but he's okay otherwise. Who know? I really wanted there to be something in here. It looks like, here you go. Oh, I love just the weapons on the wall. Would you like a sword or an ax? <laughs> but yeah, so you got the east side and the west side, the mafia and the thieves. It's just this great dynamic. There's a YouTuber I really love called Josh Stripes who talks about, you know, what makes a good video game, like a good video game and all kinds of hilarious videos and one of the things that's really stuck with me that he says is what makes a really great video game world immersive is that it feels like the world is continuing on that is it exists whether you're there or not you know if if mario showed up at Brokeport, would Brokeport still exist it's like yeah your presence here actually barely affects anybody here. You're just talking to people. They're living their lives. They're doing their own things. And that's what makes this game truly amazing. Hey, uh, I'm Ian Fumis. Guys. Guys. The infamous. He's infamous. Oh, God, God it hurts so bad. <laughs> the infamous. Who's infamous? Oh, Lord. <sighs> the infamous Info Mouse. I know things, things worth knowing. If someone's trouble is giving you some trouble, I'll share my info. But it'll cost you. Think of it as a tip for a tip. You haven't taken on anyone's trouble, so my info won't be of much use to you. Come talk to me after you've accepted in someone's trouble from the board over there. Hey, is this your first time at the Trouble Center? And I'll explain how our service works. Listen up, good. This Trouble Center is where people come with troubles. Wow. That's why it's named that. If you want to see what kind of trouble people have, check that bulletin board. If you're a nice guy, you'll choose someone and try to help them out. If not, not. Help someone out, they'll give you a reward. Probably not a bad deal, eh? But remember, if you decide not to solve the trouble, you have to pay to camp. You got that? Well, good. Then go help someone out. I think I'll try one out. Why not? Holy lord. Well... Plenty. I love the toad names. 
Oh gosh, mayor group. Alright, well we don't have the Try to remember all of them, you know? And, and where they are. <laughs> uh we we don't have pipe travel just yet. I think I need to go through the first the, the next level before we have all of our shortcuts and everything. So I'm going to How about alright, let's just take the first step and try to figure out who Garf is. I know who Arthur is, so I think I'm just gonna pick this one. This is Arthur. I want to open a new shop, but I need help setting my prices. But since I can't go into a competitor shop, I need some research done. I need the price of fire flowers, sleepy sheep, and tasty tonics in Rogue Park. Okay. I'll meet you in front of this building to make the exchange. Yes, yes I will. I can do that. Do it and do it right. Got it. Alright, fire flower, sleepy sheep, and tasty Easy peasy, lemon soup. Easy if peasy. If. You, you, dude, you don't need to stay out here. You, I, I got my contact left. Alright. Fire flower is 10. Sleepy sheep is 8. And tasty tonic is 3. 10 a.m. 3. Because I. Ooh! You can't get there yet. <laughs> did you check the prices for me? Yes, I did. Perfect. Okay, I'm ready. First, how much are they asking for fire flowers? 10 coins. I wonder what happens if you say something ridiculous. I see. And for sleepy sheep? Say no. Okay. And how about Tasty Tonic? How much is that? 198 coins. Wow! That's rough. Those are some low prices. I can't believe they're selling that low. Hmm. Even if I try to compete with them, I don't think I can profit. But it certainly is helpful information. Here's your reward. Good work. Does it matter what you tell him? I only one. I gotta. I gotta. You solved the trouble. Yay! I want. I want to look this up real quick. Okay, that's pretty funny. According to the Google, it doesn't matter what you tell him. You can actually go and give him the right information, or you could just lie and make up some ridiculous stuff. You'll always have the same response, and that's pretty funny. Uh, I'm not going to do a bunch of stuff because of uh, a bunch of the the, the side quests. Because some of the stuff is going to require me going to Petal Meadows, like I saw, you know, the, the Mayor, Mayor, uh, Coops? No, no, Mayor Coop in there. And so I want to have access to fast travel before I, I go, well, release this game version of faster travel. Uh, once I unlock the, the pipe system, uh, then it'll be a whole lot uh, better. Uh, I'm gonna go rest at the inn so Mario stops. Pleasing. Welcome to the Lone Refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. I will save my inn, Koopa. Because this is probably the cheapest inn you can find. Alright, I know this is uh, starting to be a pretty long episode, but... Uh, did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out there and face the world. See you again soon. But it's a nice exploration episode, and there's one last area. We have gone through all of Roadport, but every single chapter, stuff changes, you know? So it, 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 it's good to go around and, and talk to people. And see if there's, like, stuff that changes down here. Like this dude! Hey! Mario! Wow! So cool! I never thought 
I meet a celebrity out here. Ooh, I know. Do you want to make an investment, Mario? My name's Lumpy, and I'm headed out to Dry Dry Desert to prospect for oil. Thank you. Call back to game one. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Could you please lend me some money? I'm accepting investments of 100 coins or more. I'll invest in you, sure. Thank you so much. You won't regret it. I'll keep accepting investments, so let's chat again in the future. I don't know how long. I know that he, he's there. He's here for a limited time. I don't know how long he stays. But at some point in time, he does disappear, and then he comes back. And however much you invest, Depends on what happens afterwards. I'm pretty sure you, you know, he strikes you rich. <laughs> Not that you care, but I gave up all my life dreams. Now I just stare at the sea. I walk around alone. I wait for a ship that never returns. Life stinks, you know that? <laughs> okay, my dude. Ooh, yeah, we got ships from all over the blooming world coming in and out of here. Where, what do you call them? Longshoremen, like, we load and unload cargo all day. So they say, remember they were talking about how you start the game, the save block and everything, but now their dialogue changes, which is awesome. No, me? Well, I'm a bit down. My older brother left port just the other day. I wonder how he's doing now. I just hope he comes back in one piece. I mean, I never... That's a toad sailor. He seems pretty freaked out to be a sailor, but hey. I was here worrying about his brother, so maybe that's why he's so tweaked. You know, speaking of which, you don't exactly worry about Luigi much, do you? <laughs> he's fine. By the sound of it, something bad happened to the sailor. Now he hates the sea. It's also sad. I wonder what he thinks about when he looks out at the ocean. That's Bomberto, a bo bomb sailor. He's small, but he's a super hard worker. He doesn't just sail, either. He loads and unloads stuff, too. Look at those muscles. Sure. How do you see muscles on a baba? Listen, Nick. You run into all sorts of trouble if you don't keep your eyes. This is Rome Court, after all. This town's rotten. Crooks, thieves, and hooligans. You gotta watch out for those hooligans. That's a baba sailor. He does basic harbor work, like loading and unloading. He's kind of crap, but he seems to have decent advice. He's a pretty okay guy all around. <laughs> you know what I've learned? This world is full of strange, mysterious places. Yep. I sure would love to go see them all one day. That's a logistical nightmare, though. That's a toad sailor who works here at Rogueport Harbor. I hear he loves his family so much that it's hard for him to go on long voyages. <laughs> no matter how much I work, it seems like I've never get fitly rich. Of course, it ain't like I got a choice. Gotta work to live, which means... <laughs> Out of the way, bilge pup. Move your blooming butts. That's a patch, the bum bum. He's a real salty sailor type. Totally an active guy, huh? Yeah, he looks burly, too. Gotta love strong go-getters, huh? Lumpy, a ratty. His dream is to strike it rich by finding oil. I gotta admire the dedication. Guys like this make me want to chase my dreams harder. Still, when I talk to him, it seems more like he's just up for whatever, you know? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with chasing your dreams. Nothing wrong with being up for whatever. Always try new experiences. Always. Very rarely, unless you do something very bad decision. <laughs> and against common sense, and very poorly, very rarely do you regret doing things, but many times you regret not doing things. At least, I found that in my experience. Alright guys, I actually... Yeah, alright, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, and then I'm going to do all the underground stuff, which includes what's mis under that mysteriously sus grate. And then we will find our way to the next chapter. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. I got a plan. The 
Missy Spook's plan. I got it all laid out. <laughs> but there is uh, Roqueport, the full experience. <laughs> Moving on, and so we got a little bit more exploring to do, and then back to the plot. <laughs> It's all useful and helpful stuff. All of this stuff matters. Everything matters. And one little NPC, you're like, oh, oh wait, that person's important. Like, uh, like Darkly, the guy that's behind the wall, right? You're just like, oh, it's just another NPC. It's no different from anybody else here. But he's actually really important, and you're gonna have to find him at some point. And if you don't know where he is, if you haven't explored, you're like, I don't even know where. I'm noticing that the remake does a, a, a decent job of putting more help for you. Back in my day, you got no help. You were lucky if some amazing, truly wonderful soul made a fan-made guide for you to follow. You were stuck. Those are the true heroes in the video game world. Kids these days will never understand the absolute joy of finding a fan-made uh, video game guide and seeing in the beginning the title of the game made in hashtags and symbols and all this crazy stuff because people were insanely great. I, I loved those things. And that's all you had. That's all we had, guy. <laughs> but now there's all these things in the game. There's the battle master, the tip guy. And there's all this stuff that's just like, oh, you're having trouble? There you go. Here's a little help. Ah, you don't need it. Figure it out. You had as much fun as I have. Hit that like button. We all like like buttons. If you haven't already, please, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so, so much. And I can't wait to see all you guys in the next video, okay? <laughs> Bye!